agenda changes, we have none. So moving forward, uh, approval of the minutes of the regular meeting held on August 16th, 2016 at 6.30 p.m. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Motion to second. Any discussion? Clerk, please call the roll. Trustee Dutine? Aye. Trustee McDowell? Aye. Trustee Frierson? Aye. Chairman Neal? Aye. Uh, are there any citizens' comments tonight? Yes, sir. Please approach. Not you. No. <laughs> yes, sir, Mr. Bremner. Madam Chair, Honorable Sirs, Gentle Lady, uh, last month in the your regular meeting. An ordinance was passed setting the salaries of the trustees and the chairman. Uh, I do not see the numbers in this. Would you be gracious enough, please, to provide the, the salary numbers? Thank you very much. Did, was that, did you do that in the ordinance, the numbers? Did we set it? Yes, sir, oh, we will. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, did we not You're talking about in the minutes? Yes. Yeah, they were not listed in the minutes um, there in the ordinance. There was no change. So the um, does it? So the ordinance passed. So so in the ordinance, though, if you were to look up the ordinance, it would have that. Oh, of course. Good. Okay. So we can get you a copy of the ordinance. Please. Yes, and, and I will also uh, probably attach it to the minutes when I post it on the website so that it's open. So thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate your time and your courtesy and your attention to this matter. Thank you very much. We appreciate you. Any other citizens' comments? Okay, this is my favorite night of the year, actually. Uh, we have a few younger adults in the audience from the youth leadership team uh, and i'm hoping that one or two of you would be willing to come up and share with our board what the youth leadership team is do we have any takers before i call on somebody seriously there you go all right state your name um samuel adams so share with us what the youth leadership team was and what it meant to you. Um, well, before I was in youth leadership, everything was just stressful. And then um, Miss Williams just told me, hey, you'd be a good leader. Why don't you join the youth group? So then I started that path and I got to youth group. And a teacher at my old school told me, you're good enough to be a leader. You're good enough to be more. So. I was then a leader, and now I'm just here. And so what are the, some of the things that you guys did with youth leadership team in this last year? Um, we previously got a book called Seven Habits of Highly Effective Teens. We read about it. We acknowledged it. It was a pretty good book. Oh, what else? You want to share a little bit of, well, wait, would somebody else like to share about Wee Day? Okay, you can be scared, but it's okay to be scared. 90% of the population are scared of public speaking, just so you know. Yeah, it's, okay, it's really to... good practice. You're not afraid of it. I'm not afraid of it either, obviously. You want to come up and share just about Wee Day? Way to go, girl. That's being a leader. See, she's being a leader. <laughs> So yeah, share with us about what, what was a Wee Day and how did we get there and... Wee Day is like um, a worldwide thing and kids around the community come together and they do stuff and things that you do help you get like tickets to Wee Day and yeah. <laughs> so what was your favorite part about Wee Day? Um, seeing all the stars. Like who? Jennifer Hudson and... Um, Sierra, she, she, Sierra performed, and, um, who was 
it? Um, Fonzie. Martin, Martin Luther King Jr.'s son was there. Right. Yeah. Right. Fonzie was there, yeah. right? <laughs> that was pretty crazy. It was an incredible day. So thank you for sharing. So share with us what else you love about the youth leadership team. What yes. school are you from? Zion Central Middle School. And where did you come from before that? Uh, the Ula. There you go. Okay. <laughs> and so what else did you love about youth leadership team? Um, it's very fun, and you get to meet new people, and you get to do things around the community and do a lot of fun stuff. Cool. Good job. Thank you. Would any other youths like to come up and share their experience with youth leadership team? Can we get her name? Oh, could you state your name for the record, please? Olivia Staples. <laughs> Thank you. No, Xavier, you don't want to do it? No? Okay. <laughs> Ms. Wiltsey, would you be willing to come up and share with us the whole concept and how you got us into We Day and what it's all become in the last year? Ms. Wiltsey is a teacher at Beulah Park School. She's been there. She Quite taught both years. of my kids, and my son is now 30, so we won't say... <laughs> <laughs> but Ms. Wilsey came to me five years ago and really wanted to combine the different youth groups in the different schools to make it more than just a building thing to let the kids know that it's a community effort and she wouldn't let it go and thank God Ms. Uh, Leatrice Williams was the wind, wind underneath her wings <laughs> for the, the middle school but go ahead and go ahead. yeah um, well it's it's been a pleasure to be able to work with all the different levels. I teach second grade, so um, it has given me an opportunity to work with the older, the older students, some of them being past students, and really be able to let them shine through their leadership skills. Um, they definitely have potential to be those rising stars, and I feel that the youth leadership team provides them with that opportunity to be able to build their confidence and a commitment towards certain goals that are not only going to benefit our local community, but also globally, which is something that was our focus, part of our focus last year um, when we started the We Day platform. Uh, we Day is, uh, it's organizations, We Schools. We Day is just an event where 40,000 uh, youth come together. Um, it was at the Allstate Arena in April last year, and the only way that we're allowed to go is through service. So we participated in We Scare Hunger and raised um, and collected 2,000 uh, items of food uh, across the district and donated that to a local food pantry. Uh, we were able to donate $1,000 uh, to Global Hunger. Uh, we also worked on a bullying campaign, We Are Love, and they were able to work with the new tech, Michelle Ruggles, the teacher over there, and go and develop a video um, about things to do when people bully you. And that is something that we would like to expand on this year a little bit more to help educate um, their peers. So um, it's a really great platform. We feel we developed a really good base in our foundation and we're excited to really take what they have learned and really put it to practice and hopefully see more of these students not only in the community but also make some differences globally like I said before. Yay. Thank you, and thank you, Ms. Wilty and Ms. Williams, for all of your dedication to the kids and the families. And the so are there any other kids that would like to come up and speak? I don't want you to miss your chance to practice public speaking, because it is a leadership development opportunity. Going once, going twice. OK, well, what I have for each of you tonight is a medal for leadership, just as something for you guys for a takeaway uh, and on the back it says 2015-16 Zion District 6 Youth Leadership Team. Uh, we are in the middle of choosing the kids for 2016-2017 right now. And uh, they will be chosen and hopefully some of you will uh, be in the group, if not all of you. As well, we have a couple of kids that graduated from Zion Central Middle School that went to the high school that stayed on the group. And they're not here, Asia Fields and Imani Ba. Um, our high school representatives for the group, so it's very cool. So we can have all the kids come up. We're going to give you guys each your medal, and then we're going to do a group picture. While they're coming up, Sherry, we just want to say on behalf of Leah, Tris, and I, um, we just really appreciate the support that you've given us, the knowledge, your energy. I may, I may have planted the seed, but you've definitely made this become a beautiful thing and let it flourish, so we definitely appreciate it.
want to be on the outside or are you happy right there where you're at? Okay. Are we? Smile. Smile. Okay, big smile. Okay, look. Okay, wait a minute. Let me get mine first. Okay, guys? This is, this, this is for the paper, so just look at Gibby now. Look at me. Right there. Big smile right there. Okay, one more just in case. Now let me shift this way here. Everybody look at Gibby. Right here. Big smile right there. wants to sneak out you can if you want to stay and watch the rest of the meeting you can do that too totally up to you so thanks everybody does that mean you don't want to stay no. <laughs> bills for payment trustee to team yes I, I respectfully submit the bills this month to the council or for their approval of fifty six thousand eight hundred and three dollars and twenty cents I respectfully ask that you approve them second motion a second any discussion second none clerk please call the roll commissioner to team aye aye trustee McDowell aye Trustee Frierson? Aye. Chairman Neal? Aye. Item, item 8. Receive and place on file Design Township Annual Financial Report for the year ended April 30th, 2016. Uh, got the audits back from Kevin Canavy from Camp Schulte, and uh, it looks good. Uh, it just further validated. You know, each year we've had to budget in the red 
but we've been able to thank God that there hasn't been the situations where we needed to spend the money where you know you never know but we've been able to keep it in the black and so we have a little bit of a surplus to keep continue holding us forward so I'm really proud of of the work that my team's done to keep us to keep us in that place so including uh, assessor wickets he has done an incredible job of holding the line so are there any questions on that okay we don't need to make a motion is there a motion so second trustee Frierson. any further discussion clerk please call the roll trustee detain aye trustee mcdowell aye trustee frierson aye trustee mckinney oops chairman neal mm -hmm. aye uh, Assessor Wickets could not be here tonight. He had nothing to report. Um, yeah. Mr. Walker, would you mind shutting the doors behind you? Thank you. Couldn't yell loud enough, huh? <laughs> Thanks, Anita. <laughs> Thank you very much. So I had quite a bit to, sh what's that? Nothing. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Is it really is? Can, can, oh, you're keeping it open just enough to say that it's an open door. Yes. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> noted, noted in the minutes, the door was not closed. <laughs> so next item is supervisor's report announcements that uh, you have in front of you our monthly report and I would really appreciate it if uh, trustees if you would take a look at this and share with us we were reviewing it and we've done number crunching to just create a picture frame of what we do every month but uh, my uh, case manager Adrian and I sat down and really were curious about what information is the best information to share with you because a lot of this stuff it takes work and if it means nothing it's a waste of time so if in the next couple of weeks if you would have a chance to look it over we would love your feedback on this report what what more would you like and and how can we make it better so if you could do that i would truly appreciate that uh one of the things that is not on here because it started on september 1st and this is a report for the month of august is that we started the LAHEAP application process which is a program that is through Community Action Partnership in Waukegan, and they have graciously allowed us to help them with the applications. And between September 1st and the 19th, we've actually already completed 53 applications. And why that's uh, significant is that in the past, uh, it was a 45, it's a 45 minute appointment sometimes. If you have kids and you have other situations, it takes 45 minutes to get all the information, to make all the copies, to sit down with the person to go through the whole process. Last year, Carmel House asked if we could come over and complete the applications at their building. So Adriana and I went over there and created a strategy and we were able to complete like, I don't know, 20 some applications in two hours. And so we changed the way that we do the appointments now in that we have open windows from two until four every Wednesday. And uh, the individuals come in, Sandra signs them in, I make sure we have all the copies, we get everything ready, and then we have Shakora Keys, who is our new business manager, and Adriana Ortiz, who is our case manager, and they do the appointments. And we have been able to do just a lot of residents. And the reason that that's so important is because it's it, the money runs out and so there's a lot of seniors that right now it's just seniors and disabled that can that can come in to fill out the applications and when that money runs out that money runs out so the more residents that we can get to help make ends meet the more it just makes the rest of their life a little bit more manageable whether it's paying for medications or, or groceries or those types of things so I'm really proud of my team for how we've been able to uh, create a system where we could do so much more with so fewer staff and so little time so uh, I also I met with the executive director of affordable housing of Lake County and you'll notice in your packet I gave you several flyers uh, one of them is the LAHEAP schedule and the forms that individuals need so if anybody asks you then you will have that information uh, to be able to share with them and the dates are all on the bottom so that's the first sheet I shared the second sheet is from Rob Anthony from uh, Affordable Housing of Lake County. They have three significant programs that can help residents in our community. Uh, the two that were uh, 
really stood out is one if you're underwater with your home if your house is worth way less than what you owe on it uh, there is a program to help prevent foreclosure and help you with that loan there's another program that assists with home repairs if you have a home and you desperately need repairs on it uh, they will and there's some income requirements so that's why you need to check with affordable housing but they will give you a loan up to ten thousand dollars and every year they remove part of it so if you keep your home for so many years you don't even have to pay any of it back uh, they do have a list of companies that they work with that do the work years ago i had referred some people to this program and i was really concerned because a couple of the companies that did the work i wasn't impressed with and so i asked him about that and he said that they have tightened their program up significantly with companies that they actually uh, allow to do the work for for the residents so uh, with this information it just gives you something if you meet with a resident that has an issue with their home and they don't have the money to repair it these are some great resources uh, the next one i really want to share is i have it in your packet but i really want to make sure the whole community knows it's for a program called rachel's challenge says while her life was tragically cut short during the Columbine High School shooting on April 20th, 1999, Rachel Joyce Scott's shining example of kindness and compassion was not defeated that day. Come hear the inspiring true story of one girl's dream being fulfilled over a decade after her death. The presentation is a powerful reminder of the little things we can do every day to make our world a better place. This program is not just for adults, it's not just for kids, it's for anybody and everybody. If you're looking for a feel-good uh, evening to come out and be a part of something bigger than you, uh, I promise you, you will not be disappointed that you attended this event. This information, I will put it on uh, in the notes from tonight's meeting, it will be in the attachment. Uh, if you have any questions about it, feel free, feel, free, feel free to call me at the township. I can get you more information. Uh, additionally, uh, the Zion Benton Leadership Academy has had two sessions. We have 15 incredible new young leaders in our community that we are uh, raising up. I just want to give public accolades to Richard Frierson. He is in charge of curriculum as another volunteer thing <laughs> took on and doing an incredible job. It's going really well. So um, thank you for that very much. Uh, community character walk was a huge success if you made it it was awesome uh, if you didn't mark your calendar now so you can be there next year September 14th 2017 and uh, trustee McDowell do you want to share a little bit about the, the um, Sunday night event yeah the Zion Benton Ministerial Association sponsored a community character gathering uh, where we asked some of our ministers and church leaders uh, this year it was um, Bishop James Logan from Christian Faith Fellowship Church and Lieutenant Tim Bartlett from the Zion Police Department who's also an elder at uh, New Song Ministries and then the Associate Pastor of Grace Missionary Church Roberto Cifuentes. Uh, they all spoke on the six community of character words um, explaining not only their actual meaning of those words but also the biblical basis from which those words come i thought it was a great event it really was it was great i'm hoping it becomes <coughs> annual uh, at least mm -hmm. so yeah. yeah me too maybe more yeah. <laughs> it was really north point church provided the music and it was just it right. was really a mm -hmm. really a good event so uh, <coughs> continuing on lake county township officials to, just to let you guys know uh, there is a Lake, uh, there is an organization called Lake County Township Officials, of which I'm president, and we meet four <coughs> times a year. The next meeting is on Wednesday, October 5th at 6 p.m. at Waukegan Township, for anybody that's interested. Uh, a shout out, the next, uh, the ZB Run Squad has four runs a year. The next one is Corey's Full Moon Run on Friday, October 14th. It is a night run. If anybody's interested, you can go to um, zbrun.org. The Coalition to Reduce Recidivism is having their annual Pathways to New Horizons job fair and luncheon also on Friday, October 14th. Uh, that information is also in this report that you can get online or just uh, on Facebook. Uh, go to Coalition to Reduce Recidivism. Uh, a Safe Place on October 21st is having their Unmask the Violence Gala. Uh, you can go to their website. 
uh, Zion Township is uh, co-sponsoring an event with the Zion Benton Public Library. It's called the Super Senior Event. It's through the Secretary of State. It's not, it's for everybody. And so the Secretary of State comes out and they do state IDs, they do driver's license renewal, they do the rules of the road class. Uh, the only thing that they don't do is if you have to take the driver's test, they don't do that there and they don't do CDLs. So if you're coming up to, that it's gonna expire, uh, or you want to get a state ID, uh, that is on October 18th from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. Uh, keep going down here. I am excited that I'm going to be able to share uh, last December, I uh, was provided a grant through the Charm Foundation to become a practitioner for the training called the Empowerment Dynamic, and it's the power of TED, and, and the information is really powerful in that we deal at the township with a lot of residents that have slidden into a victim place and it's and it's for lack of like knowing what to do and they just they feel like there's somebody persecuting them or something or the system or and they get stuck in that and we had a tendency to jump in and try and rescue and the empowerment dynamic is a whole different approach in that instead of allowing somebody to be a victim we treat them like the creator of their life Here's the situation, now what would you like to happen with it? And it's been really powerful for changing the outcomes with a lot of our clients. And so I've been asked to do a three hour training for the frontline workers of all the social service agencies across the county on November 4th through the Alliance for Human Services. So I'm excited about that. That will also be in this packet if anybody's interested in that information. It is open uh, for anyone to attend. Um, let's see. Zion Benton Community Character is always looking for nominations. You just go to zbcharacterclub at gmail.com if you catch somebody doing something good in our community and we will make sure that they get credit. If you can catch a picture, write it down, get their name. Uh, Mona Shannon at the ZB News has been wonderful at capturing those and, and publishing those in the community as feel goods, uh, as well as uh, continuing to post the, the character traits in the newspaper every single uh, you know, whenever there's a space to be able to fill, she's been using the character trait, so that's been really appreciated. Uh, and then, just as a reminder, Mano a Mano is in the community over at Pierce Campus. Uh, they help with all kinds of stuff, citizenship, DACA, green card renewal, re, re, renewals, uh, TPS, uh, health case management, all kinds of stuff. So if you're uh, interested in those services, you can call the township for the number for that. And then last but not least, I wanted to give a shout out our summer work program, I believe, is second to none. This summer we hired 35 kids. We had 30, uh, 34 actually complete the program. And uh, we were highlighted in the <coughs> Perspective Magazine for, like, uh, for the state of Illinois for townships. So we, there was a whole article on our program and I was really proud of that. This year actually at the dinner, uh, Trustee Frierson stopped and we had Calvin King III, who is a Zion Benton uh, well, a Zion District 6 graduate, a Zion Benton Township High School graduate, and he started the production company Free Lunch Academy. And he came in and did the most <laughs> incredible uh, be a buddy, not a bully presentation that affected, I, I still have parents coming in telling me thank you that they brought him in. So we're looking at doing an encore presentation and I have gotten word from <coughs> two of the three elementary school districts that they are also gonna be bringing him into the school. So. That was my, my hope, was to connect all the kids instead of just our small group. So that is all I have. Is there anything else to come before the board? Hang none. Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. There's a second. Discussion? Clerk, please call the roll. Trustee Bettine? Aye. Trustee McDowell? Aye. Trustee Frierson? Aye. Chairman Neal? Aye. Meeting adjourned.